Whenever you guys ask for something for a really long period of time, and then we can finally attack that project, I get super pumped. Matching colors can be a very dangerous game to play. And if you noticed on this channel, we very rarely say we're going to match an OEM color. The reason for that is if we get it wrong, it doesn't come out very good, and then you guys jump on my case and it all gets messy. So we take it very seriously. Now the last time that we matched an OEM color, we did Midnight Purple 3 from the GTRs. And we did that using the help of a company called The Spray Source. They gave us a liquid pigment that matched really close to the Midnight Purple 3. And even you guys, if you watch on all the comments, you guys seem to be very happy with the outcome. So we're going in again. This time, we got our sights set potentially higher. I don't know how you're gonna work this out, but we're going after Mystichrome from Ford. Now, I know you guys have asked for this for years. Hundreds and hundreds of comments asking, do Mystichrome from Ford? Well, we're going in today, but luckily, I'm not going in alone. I have Tommy from the Spray Source here with me to help on this project. Now, with Mystichrome, what kind of colors are we gonna expect to see? It's gonna be a lot of like dark purples, dark greens, dark blues, and maybe some black. Really sharp angles, you might get some orange. So dark? Yeah, it's gonna okay. be dark. So Tommy's here with me. Don't worry, Gabe's right over here. He's gonna help as well, as always. So this is going to be a dry pigment like the last one that we're gonna add xylene to to help blend it up, disperse it. Little xylene goes in, scientific measurement, or? Eyeball it. That'll probably be enough. We're gonna shake it up really well, because if you guys remember the last time we did this, I thought I had it shook up real well, and then a golf ball sized clump came flying out of the bottom. So we're gonna start with glossy top coat, because we're gonna need the clarity, we're gonna need the sheen. Right behind me, by the way, as you can see, is the DYC Mustang. It has a black base on it. Do you always want to use a black base with this one? Yeah, yeah. It'll change the color a little bit. Plus, over the black, it covers the best. Gallon of glossy top coat. And then, like the Midnight Purple 3, is it one bottle per gallon? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to end up using two gallons of top coat, two bottles of the Misty Chrome. Let's see what this looks. Oh, wow. It's dark. Darker than I anticipated. So we're looking for, what did you say again? It's going to be greens, blues, purples, and really sharp angles. You'll probably see like a goldish. Okay. Now I can already tell, at least from my angle, what the colors that I'm seeing on the top look very different than what I'm seeing on the side, which is a very good start. Holy crap, it's dark. Now I'm assuming the coverage on this is just going to be super strong. Yeah. Maybe two, three coats max. Exactly. Let's see what the stick of truth has to say here. I am very excited for this project. Whenever you guys ask for something for a really long period of time, and then we can finally attack that project, I get super pumped. And I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that are very particular about a color like this. Let's see. All right, I'm definitely seeing the greens. And I'm seeing it fire off to like a purpley. Now, is there one Misty Chrome or is it true that there were two? So there's technically two. So there's one on like the 90s cars, which it's only on the Cobras. And then on like the early 2000s, there was a whole nother one. Um, the early 2000s one, it didn't shift as much and it's a little bit more blue. Um, not as dark? Yeah, not as dark either. Yeah, okay. so I went after like the 90s version. So this is the classic 90s Misty Chrome which is the one we probably, at least we would probably want to go after because it's more of a shifty, fun color. Yeah, it's a little more fun. Okay, so we've got Misty Chrome going down on the DYC Mustang. Let's go.
All right, guys, we're all done with today's project. Now, this was a purpose-driven mission. We came here to try to match Ford's famous Misty Chrome pink color. Did we accomplish that task? I'm gonna leave that for you guys to decide. We're gonna take it outside right now. I want you to take a good look at this car and then leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Did we nail it or did we miss it? I wanna thank Tommy for coming down and doing this video with us. He's been part of the Dip Your Car community for over a decade. I'm talking about back in the DYC forum days. Great guy, super polite and professional. Check out his website, thespraysource.com. If you wanna dip your own car, you know what to do. Click right up here. We have all of our kits in one place for you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you on the next video.